In one of the previous lessons, we talked about the parameter helical interpolation, which allowed to prepare spiral meaning in the z-axis. An interesting parameter is the spiral stock removal, which allows spiral removal of material in xy axis. Let's set here some parameters. Okay. Okay. When you select the spiral stock removal option, the pitch parameter appeared and type in here for example 4. Okay, let's calculate the toolpath with these parameters. Okay. And as you can see, the tool moves in a spiral, mapping the shape of the workpiece contour, and gradually approaches to the contour. With the spiral stock removal, as in helical interpolation, here we also have the pitch parameter. And this parameter is strictly related with the spiral stock removal option. And this parameter determines the pitch of the spiral. In this case means the load of the tool. The higher the value of the pitch, the faster machining of the allowance to the depth of one pass in the Z axis. All the time we must remember that this applies to the allowance in the XY axis. The contour in the Z axis will be machined in the number of passes defined in the parameter number of cuts in the levels and cuts tab. Let's type in here for example 5 and let's calculate toolpath again and ok. We have 5 toolpaths in the z-axis and in each z-step we have spiral around the machined contour. Ok, it is also worth remembering that the value of the pitch cannot be greater than the difference between initial stock parameter and stock to be left. Pitch must be lower than the difference between initial stock and stock to be left values.